Hey, welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining us in the studio from Vale Mountain Rescue, uh, Mr. Dan Smith. Hi, Dan. Good morning. Um, Memorial Day. Yes. You, gotta, you have yes. plans for the day? Yeah, we'll be uh, doing the Memorial Day uh, commemoration at Freedom Park this afternoon at 4 o'clock. Everybody's welcome to come. That's good information for yeah. sure. 4 o'clock at Freedom Park. Um, it's free. It's just a chance to kind of to be a part of a nice group of people there in remembrance of the fallen heroes. We'll, we'll read off the names of the people who have uh, from Equal County who've died in the 267 wars this country has fought. Wow. And you were out there. You were oh, yeah. in the front lines. In you Vietnam, in 69 yeah. to 70. Wow. Uh, and then you came back. Oh, yes. And then how did you get involved? What, was, what did you do after that? Old Cochran. Well, I was a lobbyist. with I worked for Exxon for 30 years after graduate school and uh, was a lobbyist for 20 of those, which was an interesting life, Right. and then retired up here. And when I came up here, I ran on to old Tim Cochran, who was another ex-Vietnam hand, and he sucked me into this lifestyle vortex called Mountain Rescue, and it's been there ever since. It's my 16th <laughs> year at it. Um, and you're not so much out in the field as oh much no. as you are oh the make, no. calling the shots and scheduling, because yeah. you got a group of young guys and girls that are completely immersed in what you oh, were absolutely. doing 15 years ago. This is, this is my personal safety gear. Uh, my main tool is a radio. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, radio and a map are what I bring to the party anymore. And sometimes it's in a helicopter, sometimes it's not. So obviously wintertime, it's more about backcountry, safety, yeah. avalanche, safety. But for the summertime and right now, because we're seeing the rivers oh. are big and cold yep. and the spring runoff, all that snow melting is, is a, uh, is there to have fun with, but it can cause issues real fast. Where Hovey is right now, we do two missions a year at least. In the Dow Junction area. And Dow one Junction. is probably a serious injury of some nature. Yeah. Uh, that, those rocks are really tough. If you're as good as Ken, and Ken's one of the best in the business, uh, he's not going to have any trouble with it. He can still make a mistake. He can still judge a rock wrong. A, a rock could have moved since the last time he ran the shoot. He probably can run that shoot in his brain. He's been right. in it so many times. But it's it's... Almost everything we do here is inherently dangerous, and there is this probability that somebody's going to get hurt and your, somebody's number comes up. Right. That's what we're here for. Uh, this stuff is just what you need to protect yourself. Uh, then you start adding gear to help other people. Right, uh, so on this particular, your particular PFD, you yeah. have things that um, people that are just going for a fun float may not necessarily have, but the important piece is the PFD and yep. to make sure that it fits right and that everything is strapped properly. Yep, and then this comes in very handy, the that whistle. Everybody should have a whistle, period. But what yep. happens is people we see on the water put on their PFD, oh, it's too tight, so they loosen it up. This thing should be so tight, especially this strap right here, this goes under your rib cage, and if it's not pulling in tight, well, because you use this, on. when you pull people into the boat, you grab the shoulder straps, and if it's not tight, you're going to pull it right over their head. The other part is the water is going to pull it right over their head. If, if they get down on the water and this is not on tight, that stream flow is just going to rip it off you, and right. then it does nobody any good. And that this protects this. You know, I. Uh, you guys had a mission a couple of weeks ago on the Eagle oh, yeah. River in Edwards. There was four people in that boat up on a rock, one PFD, no helmets. No helmets, no uh, dry gear, no lesson? wetsuit. Uh, I, I, so. I taught a private class to one of them <laughs> about five minutes after that mission was over. I believe they got the message. I yeah. delivered it in no uncertain terms. People come up here and they, uh, this is not Disney World. This is not a water park. Uh, this is a place where Mother Nature's in charge and she gets irritated sometimes. She doesn't tolerate mistakes real well and you need to have your safety gear. You need to know how to use it. The most important thing you can do for any sport we have up here is right here. That's yeah. the best tool yeah. you got. Yeah. So a protect it brain. for one. Protect it for yeah. one and use it and for use two it. all and the time. You know, if, if you're looking at water that is just raging uh, and you haven't done this for a couple of years, don't go. go the water levels company. are going to drop in another couple of weeks. Wait for another few well, weeks and then you can go out and play. Yeah, right now it's it's just, and if you look up at the, at the passes and the ridge lines, there is a ton of snow still yeah. to come down. Uh, I mean, there you you could you know, still ski Loveland if you wanted to. I mean, you still ski Top of Vale Mountain if you want to hike. <laughs> I up. know, jeez. Uh, right. There's lots of elk there. Dan, thanks. Pleasure. Nice to see you. Have a great Memorial Day. I will. Once again, Dan Smith with Vale Mountain Rescue. Um, enjoy your Memorial Day. Go over to Freedom Park at four o'clock today in remembrance of all of our fallen heroes. We have Ken with a weather report coming up next.